Hey what's up YouTubers it's Dansky and in this tutorial we're going to be learning how you can draw a pie chart in Adobe Illustrator. So to start with we're going to select our ellipse tool, left click anywhere on the artboard and hold shift to create a perfect circle. Now we're going to want to turn off the fill so we've just got the stroke around the edge and you're going to make sure to have your smart guides on so go up to view and just check that there is a little tick next to smart guides and what we're going to do now is we're going to switch over to preview mode so that's command Y on the Mac or control Y on the PC and then select your pencil and with your smart guides on what you can do is you can left click once in the center point with the smart guides on you'll see the center point is marked in pink just left click and then we're going to hold shift and go straight up and then you can just drag anywhere it doesn't really matter and left click and then complete that shape back to the center so now this segment here is going to be the first part of our pie chart and we're going to do this all the way around so you can follow along with me or you can create segments in your own widths as you like them so again, we're going to left click, uh, make sure we deselect actually. After we've created a shape, we want to deselect that. So it goes to select and then deselect. Here's the shortcut key for that. So there we go, no anchor points are showing. It's very important you do that, otherwise it will try and continue the shape. So again, we can go back to the center, left click, and then click here. So with the smart guides, you'll see it snaps to this path. So between each of the segments in your pie chart, there won't be any gaps. So click and we're going to make quite a large segment here so we'll drag somewhere like this and then complete and then we just go up to select deselect and we're going to repeat this again click in the center out here we're going to make this bit a little bit thinner and complete the shape it doesn't matter what these lines look like outside of the circle because we will be trimming everything outside the circle off at the end anyway. So we'll deselect. I think we're going to do a couple more. So we'll start at the center, click out. Let's make an even thinner one and complete. Select, deselect, and then lastly in the center out here. So there we go, you can see where this is all taking shape. We've got our pie chart. So now what we want to do is select absolutely everything. So just drag over and go over to the Pathfinder palette and select this bottom left one, that's divide. So click that once and it won't actually look like too much has changed. However, if you do select the direct selection tool and just drag over these elements around the outside and hit backspace or delete you'll see that it can delete these outside points leaving you with just your pie chart and your segments as well so what you can do now is you can select this I've just switched out of preview mode and you can increase the weight if you want to have lines in your pie chart You've got this little, uh, this little point sticking out here. That's because all these lines are intersecting. What we can do to get rid of that is just select corner and round that off. So you could have something like this. You could increase the, the stroke weight even more considerably. But for this tutorial, what we're going to do is we're going to add a fill. So we're going to have no stroke on the outside. So let's Go back a couple of steps and we'll add a fill of, let's pick a pink. Now I'm going to make this swatch global and tick preview and just adjust the pink to my liking, something like this. There we go, just get rid of the stroke as well. So we've just left with a solid pink fill. Now you can flip back into preview mode. Remember that's Command-Y on the Mac or Control-Y on the PC to see the different segments. 
but with them all the same color, it does look like this. However, your smart guides, as you can see, will highlight the different segments as you mouse over them. So we're gonna have the other segments a different color. This is all grouped together now. What we can do is go to object and ungroup. And now these segments are individual, we can pull them out. And we can also color them as well. So we've got our pink swatch here. Let me just go and double check that that is global. And then if you go to the color guide, you'll see it's got our swatch at the top. So this one is our pink, and then it will have a few shades darker and a few shades lighter. So we can use this just to color some of these up. And there we go. We've created a pie chart in Adobe Illustrator. As always, guys, leave any questions or comments below. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Take care, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.